My name is Tanya Bosak and I'm a geomicrobiologist at MIT. I have always been interested in science and never could decide whether to do biology or physics. So I got a degree in physics and uh, came to graduate school as a planetary scientist, well, to become one, and started working on a side project on microbial mats and fell in love with stromatolites and microbial mats and became a geomicrobiologist, which I've been since. And what fascinates me particularly about that subject is uh, the idea that life could have changed the entire surface of our planet. And this is something I study and will be probably studying for many years to come. Biggest impacts that we see on a daily basis that uh, life had on the surface of this planet is the presence of oxygen. We would not be here if some little bacterium way back when didn't come up with, hadn't come up with a way of making oxygen. So our atmosphere, in a way, is the biggest biosignature we know of. And uh, the presence of oxygen then uh, changed a lot of the surface chemistry. So a lot of the rocks we see have a different chemistry because oxygen is present. And this is something I study, how microbes learn to make oxygen, when they did so, and how they aggregate to shape rocks. So I combine physics and biology again now to understand really uh, shapes of stromatolites and what stromatolites can tell us about the rise of oxygen. Uh, the process by which microbes and plants and trees and bushes make oxygen is called photosynthesis. They are real engineers of nature. They figured out a way to harvest sunlight, which is the most abundant source of energy on the surface of our planet. And they convert this light energy into chemical energy and in doing so they actually spit out this gas called oxygen. They split water and spit out the oxygen and we all end up using it 